Hey everybody, what's up? Sir Venom Mike K coming to you right now. What I have for you today is how to get install and uh, get some information on the Digital Note QT wallet. Uh, we're going to take you step by step and here we go. All right, boys, first thing you need to do is you need to go over to digitalnote.org, as you see right here, digitalnote.org. Uh, if you guys can see, the countdown to the super block of the 2XDN drop is 30 days away, so get on it, get on it as soon as possible. Uh, if you guys have do have any questions, get into this Discord channel right here, go to digitalnote.org, click on that Discord channel, and you'll get the invitation. Uh, first thing you need to do is scroll all the way down to where it says wallets. It'll be about halfway. You, know, you want the Windows 64-bit 1.0.2.6 wallet. This is the one that you want, this wallet right here. Uh, now, I don't know anything about the Mac or the Linux wallet, but I assume it's something pretty close, uh, but I'm not 100% on that, so I won't speak to that. It's all right, so click on this link and download that wallet. All right, your so next step is you're gonna get this bad guy right here, this little application. What you need to do is you need to double click on it. And guess what, guys? It pulls up a little bit of a wallet. Uh, you'll have an option here, uh, more info, run it anyway. Run it anyway, you'll bring this thing up. You'll have to allow some Windows firewall access sometimes. Uh, and then you'll get this picture here. Uh, yours will be uh, white generally, uh, but if you go into the options and settings, use the dark visual frame, you hit OK. Uh, apply OK and then restart it and you'll be good to go. All right, so you got it downloaded. As you can see, we're behind a little bit. We are 26 weeks behind here. This is gonna take you a little bit of time for it to actually sync up. It's a one year and 38 weeks is what I is as far behind as I've ever been. And it does take me a little bit of time. I'm talking a couple of hours for this to sync up. Now, what are you syncing up to? You're syncing up to the blockchain. So when you go from one to 38 weeks, I mean, I'm 26 weeks behind the, uh, I'm, I'm literally 26 weeks behind the actual blockchain. From there, there's a few things that you can do. You can send uh, you can send XDN tokens to your wallet while it's out of sync, but they will not show up until you're fully synced. My recommendation is to just wait. You don't have to wait, but just wait till it all syncs up, and then you'll be able to get your tokens, and it'll show up and populate your wallet list. All right, so uh, what we want to do, if you want to back up your wallet or you want to have any other kind of things, uh, what you need to do is go to click on... Click on the Help tab, go to Open Data Dir, D I R, Open Data Directory, and then you need to scroll down here in this wallet.dat file. Once you're synced up, and th this wallet.dat file holds all of your passcodes. I'm not going to open it up and show you mine because then you can get into all my wallets. But uh, take this wallet.dat file, put it on, uh, put it, put it on a, uh, put it on a different hard drive, put it on a flash drive. If you are going to put it on a flash drive, take it off that. Put it on that flash drive and take this flash drive and put it in a fireproof safe. If you lose this wallet.dat file, you lose everything. You lose your coins, all right? So, uh, so this is very important that you back up the wallet.dat on a different on a different hard drive or a flash drive. You put it in a bank vault, put it in a safety deposit box or something, so you can continue to get a hold of your wallet. All right. Uh, so here, what we got was you see the see my 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 regular wallet here i'm i'm holding 119,000 tokens uh <clears throat> from here what i want you to do is i want you to encrypt your wallet this is an extra layer of protection so you can protect your wallet uh you can do that by clicking on this little tab here settings go to encrypt your wallet type in your passphrase save your passphrase write that some bitch down because you're going to need that later on <clears throat> for when you unlock your wallet when you click on unlock your wallet, you're going to have a block come up and it's going to it's going to ask you to enter your passphrase and there's a little checkbox for staking purposes. Now you don't have to stake the you do not have to stake your XDN for the 2XDN uh, super block drop. All right, so once you do that, you'll be down here in the bottom, you'll see this little clear net tab here, then you have oh yes, you hover over hover over some of the check marks up to date we have we're connected to 12 uh 12 active connections we are 
staking purposes it'll show show your weight so the more the more tokens you have the more network weight you have and the faster you will earn rewards uh i have as you can see here this is this is a staking i mined 150 xdn tokens uh i will receive estimated time to reward is five days i don't know it could be more if you have if you have less i mean when i was have holding thirty thousand tokens in there it was 26 days for estimated rewards so either way and then there's this little bad guy right here that says your wallet is encrypted and currently unlocked so we have everything that we need now let's get some tokens from our bitrix account over to our xdn wallet what you need to do is you need to click on the receive tab this is my xdn wallet what you do is you right click this copy that address come over to your bitrix account you see it says xdn digital note uh, this is in my holdings tab of Bitrix. Click on withdraw. You put this in there. Copy paste to that. That's your that is your web wallet or that is your QT wallet address. And then you put in how much how much XDN you want to transfer over. Click the withdrawal tab. Now all of these transactions will show up. As you can see, the last the last uh, interaction I did was on the 21st. I, I added 11,000 more tokens to my wallet. Where uh, and then it'll come up with a little question mark right here in this first box. As you can see now, it says 778 confirmations. You will need at least 10 confirmations for it to show up as pending. Right? It'll be pending for 10 confirmations. It'll show up immediately, but it'll be pending for 10 confirmations. Once that 10 confirmations happen, it'll flop over into your available tab. Now, if you want to go ahead and, at this point in time, stake your tokens, you will need to wait for 60 confirmations. 60 confirmations now if you already have a bunch in there that you're staking and you are trying to add more to it do not worry once those 60 confirmations go out it automatically goes into the staking process so there you have it boys we took you from step one all the way through to to, uh, to populating coins on your wallet and teaching you how to stake your uh, digital note wallet that's it that's all i got for you we'll see you guys next time if you'll have any more questions comments or concerns go to the discord channel go to the telegram digitalnote.org click on that discord link get in there and ask questions thank you very much for watching i'm servant of my k we'll see you next time